so here we are going to demonstrate at least one reading for the first experiment and the experiment name as you already know it is determination of focal length of a convex biconvex lens so as you can see this is a biconvex lens bulging from the center okay and tapering at the ends okay so this is the biconvex lens that we will take the first step was to measure the rough focal length so as you can see this is a screen over here okay and i have put a scale a ruler over here to uh, to measure the rough focal length now how are we going to measure the rough focal length i will hold this lens in front of the screen as you can see when i am moving my hand back and forth so what is happening is the window along with the other objects that you can see in the image you can see here is the image that is getting formed so that this image is blurred right now we are going to try to get a position of a clear image so let's say for example somewhere here you see this is a clear uh, window upside down as you uh, expect from a biconvex lens the image is inverted okay so the window is looking upside down and you can see some trees uh, leaves also okay so if i move the lens forward it is becoming hazy as you can see and now i am going to bring it back so you see around this position we are getting a clear image okay so i am going to take this down just for measurement you can see on the scale it is coming to around 10 cm okay this distance from the screen up to the position where the lens is there this is coming out to be 10 cm so this will be the rough focal length okay so we will record the rough focal length as the first step okay so rough focal length will be 10 cm now when we move to the experiment the readings that we will take all those readings should also come out, out to be maybe not exactly 10 but somewhere around 10 cm okay okay so here is the setup the main setup that we have for the first two experiments uh, as you can see there are two pins that are there metallic pins okay this whole setup is known as the optical bench you can see that there is a meter rule also from 0 up to 100 cm mark okay and there are two pins with pin stands these are wooden pin stands you can see the pins one will serve as the object pin the other will serve as the image pin okay and right in the center you you can see this is a lens stand and i have already inserted the lens which i was taking the rough focal length of just now okay so the now the lens we know the rough focal length now we have put the lens in the lens stand how can you uh, put the lens in the lens stand there is a screw as you can see over here this can be rotated okay released also and tightened also so i have done all that arrangement and then you can see there is a uh, screw with the two pins also you can move the screw to uh, take the pin up and down okay similarly over here you can see you release the screw and then take it up so the first thing that we are going to do is first of all we are going to bring all the three two object pins and one lens stand together now why are we bringing them together if you bend down slightly you will see you the level that uh, two pin levels and the center of the lens they should lie in the same straight line so as you can see this pin is a little to high so what i am going to do is i am going to bring it down with the help of the screw now they are more or less in line okay the reason why we have to do this is so that when we get the image it is clear and inverted okay so now i am going to just spread this out and move to the main procedure pause okay so uh, for the first reading now uh, we have come to the main part of the procedure for the first reading as you can see this is the object pin that i am uh, using and uh, you can see over here it is at the 0 cm mark okay so it is at the beginning okay you can see there is a small white marking here it has to be adjusted at the 0 mark okay now moving ahead you can see that i have put the lens position you can see there is a white mark here also the lens position is set at 30 cm what this means is from the object up to the lens this distance as you already know if you have studied properly this is the object distance u okay so u value we are fixing 
based on this fixed u value we will calculate we will try to find out what is the v value v value means the image distance okay so right now the first thing that we have done is we have fixed u as 30 cm so in the observation table the first column wherever you have u you will write u as 30 cm okay now let us come to the image side now you see this is the other pin that I was talking about. This can be moved. Okay. In fact, all three can be moved, but then the first object distance has been set. So now we are not going to touch that. We are going to simply move this. And from this end, I am going to look, look through the lens. Okay. So what am I going to look for? I am going to look for two things. Number one, this image pin I can see in front of me. Okay. The second thing that I will see is that object pin's image through the lens. Okay. So you, you already know that the image will be inverted. Okay. So that if that pin point is upwards in the image, it will appear downwards like this. Okay. So you can, uh, I'll bring the lens to the right side just to see if you can see the inverted image of this object. Now you can see that uh, if we will zoom a little more, you see, uh, yes, now, uh, right now we have not fixed the position. What I want to show you is, this though obviously is the image pin right in front of our eyes. The image that I am talking about is, uh, you can see this image, this image. It is the image of that object pin which is lying on that side of the lens okay which we have fixed at zero okay so these two tips they have to be brought in this particular position and in order to uh, remove the parallax error we will move our head and see that they should move together okay so let me first set the position uh, i will set the position by changing the image pin like this okay and uh, once we record a position a uh, position where they are in this situation then i will continue with the video okay so first of all i'm going to show you how to set this image pin so that we get this inverted position okay so right now you can see when i'm moving my head you will see that these two things are not moving together they are getting separate okay they are getting separated this means that the parallax error is there although the tips are matching but then the moment we move our head they are going separate ways okay so now i'm going to uh, show you the slight adjustment so we have to move the image pin uh, and keep checking keep checking keep moving your head and seeing uh, right now also there must not be a, a perfect match uh, i am continuously shifting the image pin now you can see somewhere here if you see now you should be able to yes now you see over here uh, this this particular point you can see that the image pin and the image of the object pin their tips are matching so their tips are exactly you see like this okay and when i'm going to move my head now you see huh see they are moving together okay this means the parallax error now has been removed and now we will not change the position of the image pin so now i'm going to bring the lens to the uh, to show you the exact position where the image pin has been set you can see the image pin is at 46 degree uh, 46 centimeters roughly okay so now what will be the image distance the image distance will be this distance okay from the lens now lens was at 30 and the image pin has come at around 46 so 46 minus 30 that means 16 centimeter is your image distance okay what was the object distance the object distance was already set at 30 okay so now we have got the u value and the v value when we will put this u and v value in the formula f is equal to uv upon u plus v we should get an f value somewhere around the rough focal length which was 10 centimeters okay so this is one set of reading similarly you can keep on changing u this time we had taken u as 30 next time you can take it as 40 again set the object uh, image distance you will get the second set of reading so this is the procedure that has to be done uh, the demonstration part will finish here the remaining readings those students who have taken i will provide you with those other readings okay so this was the first experiment remember the determination of focal length of a biconvex lens using 
uv method okay the next method will be the lens displacement method over there we will fix the position of these two and we will move the lens okay but for the first experiment this is it